Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Magnus, and I welcome you guys to part 9 of Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Aztecs. Yes! It's time to fight Attila. Attila the motherfucking Hun! And we are work, w working our way towards Oxford. We're just gonna storm this fucking city. It has 51 fucking defense strength. It should fall very quickly. Oh, yeah, these barbarians are also a thing, I suppose. Ba -da, bum, 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 bum. Let's move back a little bit. Oh, the Hun, the Hun uh, battle theme is really fucking cool. Do, do, do. So I'm, I'm quite interested in seeing what kind of units Attila has. Anyway, let's grab an autocracy uh, policy. Let's grab elite forces. That's always nice to have in combat. Extra combat strength on wounded units. Pretty fucking good one. Let's see what Attila has. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh. He has a lot of Lancers, which is not surprising considering the Hunic army fields a lot of cavalry early on. He's probably upgraded them all the way to Lancers. We can start bomb bombing Oxford now. That seems to be one of his original cities. I don't think we can liberate it. Oh, that didn't do so much damage. Uh, we need to bring our great general down, though. These guys are really adept at fighting in tough terrain, so that's good. Bum, 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 ba -da -da. All right, we don't want to lose our shits. We can move in and we can attack from here. Uh, can this artillery shoot all, all the way over here? No, it can't. It needs to move closer. Maybe we should use this artillery to attack. Oh no, we could have healed up our musketmen. Oh, I must have forget that I have self-healing musketmen. So far, Attila hasn't impressed me majorly with his shits. I'm gonna queue up public schools in all of my cities. In fact, I'm considering uh, placing some. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I want. I want production. Let's see how many citizens I can place before that becomes an issue. Nostra clan will still grow, but it will build really fast, though. We have a lot of food right now. I dare say we can place all of these citizens without any big troubles. It also means we're going to get a lot of great engineers. Alright. Back to the battlefield. Oh, fucking hell. Rome has uh, aluminium. Ooh. They must be pretty, pretty far ahead. Ouch. Well, there goes one of my musketmen. That sucks. <laughs> That really fucking sucks. Um, I should have promoted... I can promote them all to Riflemen once I take Oxford, though. Because I'll briefly have my territory here. So... Let's see. Let us shoot down this knight. I really hope I have enough shits. May not necessarily have enough shit. But I can siege the city from here, and I can siege the city from here. Let's not take any unnecessary bombardment damage. Very little sense in doing that, I feel. Oh shit. That's a barbarian Gatling gun. Not good. Well, it seems like Attila has tougher cities than I, than I first thought. Uh, I just realized I placed some Gatling guns into the bombardment range of Amsterdam. They are gonna take a lot of damage. Ow! That really fucking hurts. Hmm. Okay. I need to move these guys back or they will die. They do have March, so they do heal pretty well, but... That doesn't seem to help a lot in this situation. So I can move in. I 
jerking. I need to I need to deal with this cannon. That zone of control is jerking me over hard right now. Ugh. Better escape with my lancers, man. Now if I heal, I'm gonna heal up 20, which is going to get me killed. So I need I need to move this uh, this guy. Would have preferred to shell the cities, but I need to reorganize. Hmm. Do I have the firepower needed to take these cities? I mean, it would be nice to take Oxford at the very least. But 66 Your combat strength. Over us. Ah. The day is yours. Ah, did I win the game? That's good then. GG. I'll forgive you. This is why you keep counter spies. I oh, know we have minus three coal right now. It doesn't really affect our factories all that much, though. But hell, hell's yeah, cover one. We need to get this guy into rough terrain, though. Um, he will survive for a little longer, though. It's fine. All right, let's start shelling Oxford so we can upgrade our dudes to riflemen. Do we have the great general bonuses, giving bonuses to everyone? Looks like we have. It's good. Get out of my border, you fucking barbarian. God damn it. Oh, I gotta be careful so I don't lose my great general. Well, luckily I have a cavalry right here. Should be able to make it over here rather quickly. Alright, I can shoot on this guy. Almost kill him. That nets me a great general. That's really good. Surround the city. It should fall pretty darn shortly, I hope. I don't think there's much sense in getting another great general into this battle. I think two hold is plenty right now. Would you be interested? No. Nope. No, no trade agreement with England. Thank you very much. I'm good. Oh, really? Oh, my Gatling gun. Alright, so I'm working my way towards Railroad, which would be kind of nice. Get the get Neuschwestein would be pretty kick-ass as well. But I like the extra production you get out of it. Always, always, always have liked it. Alright, that's good. Let's not get our uh, Lancers killed by Barbarians. That would be pretty bad. Hmm. One, two, three. If we move the scaffolding gun and replace it with an artillery, we can attack Oxford with three artilleries next turn. Yeah, he has riflemen, so I need riflemen. By that logic. Is there a barbarian encampment up here? Where are all these bar Okay, they're probably coming from that encampment, I think. Oxford will take um, four shellings next turn, so that probably means it will fall pretty darn quickly. I might lose another uh, Gatling gun. No! <laughs> You're not fucking interested in a fucking trade agreement with England! How hard is that to understand? Well, I have, my spies are leveling up like shit. They have a pretty high chance of capturing enemy spice right now. 39% chance. It's pretty good. Alright, can we take Oxford on this turn? I don't know. Can we? This artillery can get volley. Uh, yeah, we are able to take Oxford on this turn. Easily. We are just going to race it. Sadly gives us some more mongering penalties, but hey, what can you do? So that's one city eliminated. This road, is it even... It looks like it's not finished, but I guess it is. Yeah, it, it is finished. It just looks really weird for whatever reason. 34 gold, 68 culture. That's the Aztecs for you right there. 
killing one barbarian. We're gonna get so much gold out of this war. In fact, I think we're gonna start. We can probably start bribing some city states. I would also. You know what? I'm gonna give you the open borders. <laughs> you fucking idiots. You still don't like me. Oh well. It's fine. Oh, I gotta hurry and get my musketmen over here so I can promote them. Fuck off, Rui, to you too. <laughs> no. Oh shit, he took it back. No. That's fine though. Oh wait, didn't I have a fucking rifleman in there? Oh no, I lost a fucking rifleman. Shit. Well, that sucks. Um. Let's take it back. I think that just destroys it, doesn't it? Instantly? Almost? Almost. Shit, I won't get this guy in here in time to promote. That's kind of annoying. No, he doesn't have the movement points, sadly. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Let's see, do we have any trade quests? Kathmandu, Ormus. Well, not any safe ones, I think. Nah. Well, let's just train with Rome then. Seems like the sensible choice. But yeah, Oxford fell pretty darn rapidly. Let's see if we can take Amsterdam. Amsterdam will be a pretty nice city to take, but I'm thinking Attila is probably going to defend it pretty hard. Oh no, don't pillage my farm. We don't got a particularly large army, but I think Attila is busy fighting multiple wars. Ugh, some weird frame rate spikes right here. So, Jakarta currently has 26 uh, tourism. So, it looks like Indonesia might become an issue if we let them live for too long. Anyway. I doubt they will be able to win a culture victory just yet. Alright, cool. Now we can uh, pillage our way into Amsterdam. So let's set up the guns. Ooh, I want to kill this cannon. That might have been a little bit... A uh, little bit risky of me to do that when I think about it, because I might lose my musketmen now if they get targeted. Alright, Venice. Uh, we probably want a military academy, don't we? Or we could get the Circus Maximums in Venice. That is completely viable. I think we want Sue into Notch Clan. And how's our, our economy is doing pretty darn well. I, I guess we could just go for military academies. We're going to get a, a shit ton of engineers very soon. So, uh, go away. No, not you. Like Augustus Caesar would say, fuck off it all. But yeah, we should uh, we should mo we should consider I'm gonna lose this musket man now, I'm pretty sure. Amsterdam hurts. <laughs> no! Okay, they're going after me. Okay, he does have an army, he's bringing it up to fight me now. So let's see uh see if we can crack his defenses. He does have a lot of stuff. A lot of cannons, though. That's his weakness. Cannons aren't all that great. Alright, I think I'm going to start popping my engineers now. But I, I definitely should go for replaceable parts at this point. I wonder if I'm going to have any oil. We've also stolen a shit ton of technologies. Uh, we can all steal navigation by the looks of things. But that's fine. Alright, let's start sieging Amsterdam. Uh, also, these guys should probably swap places with these guys. There we go. It's gonna be very interesting to see if I can uh, if I can win this. Uh, it's gonna be pretty hard. I don't really have that large of an army. I have a lot of artillery firepower, but that's about it. Anyway, we're going to get railroads now, which is fantastic. Let's grab vision on these guys. I like the vision. I 
I mean, we do have a lot of good modifiers, which is good. Now he wants to trade one for one. That's a that's a good thing. We do have a discipline. We have great generals. I mean, we got a lot of things working going for us right now, but ugh, we lost the rifleman. Some casualties. Nine damage from cannons, though. The cannons are not doing shit at the moment, so that's good. But I, I gotta start taking them out, though. Uh, I'm almost doing 100 damage to them. If I'm at full health, I think I will. Oh, that's close. That is really close. Alright, let's start sieging Amsterdam. We are losing riflemen. We might need to start replacing them very soon. Another caravan that can go to Warwick. Ah, finally, this encampment is cleared out. It started to annoy me. We have yet another, oh shit, another fucking spy. I need to start looking around for uh, things to spy on. Maybe I should just spy on Attila's Corch. I think I'm out attacking him though, so I don't think it's necessary. Um, Beograd doesn't like me, Wittenberg doesn't like me. Kathmandu is allied with France. Ormus is allied with England. Hmm. What kind of city state ally do I want? Maritime city state, maybe? Or, or religious? No, I don't want a religious city. Religious cities are pretty fucking bad. Um, 181 influence. Hmm, Sidon maybe? Militaristic citizen? Mandekalu Cavalry, that isn't fantastic. Mogadishu is in Maritime. We could try to steal Mogadishu, I suppose. You know what? Let's do that. Let's um, send this guy over to uh, Mogadishu. Let's set our new spy in Tenoshi Clan on counterintelligence duty so he can level up on that. Our musketmen now have cover too, which is pretty fucking nice. If we just shoot a little bit of these guys, we can move in light right here. Yeah, we'll take Amsterdam for sure. Although I really don't want... I, I gotta be careful because they might just take it back. But he has a lot of cannons. But he doesn't... He, he's not really good at protecting his cannons though. Alright, can I become host now? No, I can vote for England to become host. I prefer her to get a little bit more power. Rome is a little bit too strong right now. So, at least more powerful. Or are they? Ah, oh, they're actually below England. Oh, shit. Great war infantry. Well, I'm screwed. I am absolutely fucked. Alright, so I'm gonna take Amsterdam really fast. And then I'm gonna just instantly peace out. I'm, I'm, I think he wants to, he wants to talk, yeah. He even wants to pay me, so if I can take Amsterdam really fast. Then I can uh, just peace out with him. Would be nice to just get a 10 turn break. Can I, I don't think I can take Amsterdam on this turn, sadly. Just gonna delete his worker so he can't get it back. But that was like literally in the last minute right here. Alright, Tenoche Clan. Heroic Epic, of course. Musician's Guild and Neuschwestein and Brandenburg Gates. We want all of these wonders. We're gonna get a get an engineer in six turns, so. That sounds really good. Got some archers coming in here. Let's send our Lancer in to deal with them. But yeah, we're gonna be able to take uh, Amsterdam on this turn, and then we can peace out. And life's going to be good. Attila has a pretty large army. And he has great war infantry. So we don't want to be fucking around with him too much. Oh, shit. That is our... Oh, no. Oh, no. That is our last infantry unit. Crap. We got to keep these guys alive. These guys has to stay alive right now. So they got to get cover. Oh yeah, we gotta get cover. Shh. 
shit. Okay, so now we want to focus on... Still want to focus on the city, truth be told. But there's no sense in attacking the city when it's on zero hit points. So, let's just grab Barrage. Seems like we lost a worker. We're gonna get them back though. That's fine. Hey, we have railroads now. We should probably start working on the railroads. Yeah, we should definitely start working on railroads. Okay, that wasn't my rifleman. <laughs> That's the only thing that matters right now. I can take Amsterdam. But yeah, I gotta I gotta start working on my uh, on my railroad. That's gonna take some time. I might even consider getting another worker just for that. Just get that after, you know, just get it straight away, probably. And it, there, there's no rush to get the heroic epic. Alright. There we go. Let's create a... Oh, we can liberate it, but we don't want that. Let's just an exit immediately. And then peace out. Oh, it can be five gold per turn. That's pretty decent. Alright, so that is the war over, just briefly. Let's take a look at Amsterdam. It has the pyramids and the Terracotta army. Not a fantastic capital, but it's decent enough. It surely is decent enough. We're gonna come back for Attila later. Trust me. We will come back to him. However, for now, you guys will have to come back to me tomorrow, because we're gonna be ending this part right now. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you did. And as always, my name is Vimnangs, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Fuck off, Fado. <laughs>